About a month ago, I decided to switch one of my clients' websites from shared hosting to a side ground cloud hosting plan because I knew the website itself was good, but it was underperforming in terms of users. I'll cover why I did it, how it impacted my client's business, and I'll show you how your website might be having the exact same problem as my client had. This is an e-commerce shop that's selling around 20 products and it's getting a moderate amount of visitors. It had around 6,000 page views and around 2,000 users in the past three months. Obviously, that's not bad for a completely new business. The problem is it's hosted on a $10 per month shared web hosting plan that's not really scalable. The problem with not scalable is as the website gets more users, the performance goes downhill and the users start getting errors, then leave. You can see this happen three times, a spike followed by a sharp decline. TTFB or time to first byte. This is an indicator of how long does it take for the web hosting server to respond. In this case, it was 0.9 seconds. 0.9 seconds is pretty much abysmal. That means that the website is doing absolutely nothing for a whole second until the server decides to respond. Because the server took one second to respond, every other metric was delayed by one second, and the website barely scored a C. At this point, I've migrated all of the website files from shared hosting to SiteGround's cloud hosting plan. Since the website is still relatively small, but growing at a fast pace, the cheapest plan was more than enough. Naturally, after the migration was over, I reran the GT metrics test to see the improvement. And the improvements were pretty drastic. The TTFB metric went down to just 0.1 seconds. That's a 1000% increase. That means everything on this website was now happening a second faster, and obviously it scored an A. The performance stayed consistent even during peak hours for my client, for one very simple reason. This chart right here. I'm now inside my side ground control panel and you see, unlike shared hosting, the cloud hosting plans allow you to actively monitor your resource usage. That means as long as the blue line is nowhere near the red line, the website will run at 100%. This is your internal analytics. You need this if you're serious about your site. And obviously there are a lot of cloud web hosting plans available. However, there is a particular reason why I chose a site ground over other providers. As you saw, the traffic was very spiky and SiteGround has a feature they call auto scaling. That means you can buy additional resources that you only pay for when you need them. It's the best tool for spiky sites. Now, another big question, was any of this worth it? Because the plan I switched to does cost $80 a month. Well, the products they're selling are quite expensive to begin with, starting at 40 euros per product. Even two lost sales make up for the difference in hosting. It's now been one month since I've switched their site to cloud hosting, and in that month, their users are spending 100% more time on their site, 30% less people leave immediately, and the amount of pages users visit almost tripled. Keep in mind that there were absolutely no other changes to the website apart from the web hosting platform. The same design, the same text, the same products. However, their revenue increased by a solid 37%. So I would say in this case, yeah, it was worth it. So if you're running into similar issues, go use GT Metrics right now. Check your analytics. Maybe there is something that you can do and simply switching web hosting providers will be enough. Because if you're a seasonal shop like the one I helped fix, you're constantly running sales and ad campaigns. You need to prepare for these sudden jumps in traffic and SiteGround really helps you out there. So watch this video next to learn how to set up your SiteGround website the right way.